With this patch 14.3, comes a huge system change. Everyone will always have the exact same number of components from their PvE round. From now on there's no world where you get 3 items and somebody else gets a gold start or you're down 2 components at any point. But in today's video, we will mainly discuss the top 3 comps that got buffed on this new patch 14.3. First of all 8-bit comp, 8-bit Riven Carry was already an A-tire comp last patch. With this Caitlyn and Garen buff 8-bit will be S-tire on this patch. Garen got buffed for his HP per cast increase on 2 and 3 stars. Caitlyn also got buffed. Her total mana got reduced from 90 to 75. If you don't have any 8-bit emblem 4 8-bit is enough. You can go traditional Riven 3 star with Caitlyn as a secondary carry. Or you play Caitlyn as the main carry with Sentinel Frontline. For the early game, you can play Corky Headliner and use him as an item carrier for Caitlyn, and start to get stack damage for more high score. In mid-game, your priority will be keeping good econ and staying healthy and fast level to 8. Once you reach level 8, you can sell your previous headliner, and get a Caitlyn headliner, and give all the items to her. The final board will look like this. Or you can also add Lucian in level 9 for more damage. Now for itemization, Caitlyn's best in-slot items are Spear of Shoujin, Infinity Edge, and Hand of Justice. Alternatively, Death Blade, Red Buff, and Last Whisper are also good, for Riven Bloodthirster, Quicksilver, Titan Resolve. Hand of Justice, and Giant Slayer are best. And lastly, for Garen, any tank item is good like Warmog's Armor, Protector's Vow, Even Shroud, Steadfast Heart, Dragon's Claw, Sunfire Cape, Redemption, and Bramble Vest. For the augments, any healing and Omni Vamp augments are suggested like, Last Stand, Vampirism, Healing Orbs, You Have My Sword, Harmacist, Jeweled Lotus, and Idealism. Now moving to the second comp Twisted Fate Disco. In this patch 14.3 Riot is reverting back Twisted Fate's total mana to 105 from 120 again. In the early game, play around Disco, with Nami or Tarek as your headliner with Guardian or Bruises. You can make items on Nami and then later on the game can transfer it to Twisted Fate. In the mid-game, you will be playing around Spellweaver and Disco. And after level 8 you can go for Twisted Fate headliner. For the late game, the main synergy of this build is to have 6 Disco and 4 Dazzler activated, thus it will be our final board. Lastly for placement. We have to save our Twisted Fate from Akali by placing Nami on the corner or if you have a Leoi you can use her tentacles as bait for Akali. Now let's talk about the itemization and the best augments for this build. For the Twisted Fate Spear of Shoujin, Ginsu's Rage Blade and Hextech Gunblade are best. Alternate items like Nasher's Tooth, Archangel Staff, and Rabadon's Death Cap are also good on him. For Blitzcrank you can use Warmog's Armor, Steadfast Heart, Dragon's Claw, Sunfire Cape, Redemption, and Bramble Vest. And for Zig's Spear of Shoujin, Jeweled Gauntlet, Red Buff, Moral Anomican, and Hextech Gunblade is best. For best augments for this build are, the Ol' Razzle Dazzle, Double the Funk, Jeweled Lotus, Ascension, Healing Orbs, Magic Wand, and Know Your Enemy. Now for the last comp EDM Lux reroll. In this patch, Jax and Lux got huge buffs on their spell damage on all levels. Zed's headliner version got buff. Lux reroll was already good on the last patch but with this change, it will be broken if you can get 3 star Lux. In the early game, you can play around any Disco or Dazzler headliner. With Nami or Bard headliner. You can make items on Bard and then later transfer them to Lux when you get her. In the mid-game, your priority will be keeping good econ and staying healthy. Stay on level 7 to re-roll for Lux Headliner to active 5 EDM, and place Zed as a secondary carry. It's best to re-roll at level 7 as it will have the best odds to get all the units we need. For the late game, after we get 3 star Lux we can level up to level 8 and the board will look like this. We need to place Lux in the opposite corner from the enemy carry so she can one-shot the enemy backline as Lux fires a beam of light at the farthest enemy, dealing magic damage to all enemies it hits. Now for the itemization and the best augments for this build. For Lux best in-slot items are Spear of Shoujin, Rabadon's Death Cap, and Hextech Gunblade. Alternate items like Jeweled Gauntlet, Moral 